not entirely necessary. Dot com. Hi there. This is going to be a quick review of the Texter application developed by Adam Pash over at lifehacker.com. Texter is a text replacement tool, much like the text expander in the Macintosh OS, and I've been using it in XP for some time now and highly recommend it. So let's have a look. If we go to a, a browser and, and search for Texter Lifehacker, it's the first result in Google. This takes us to a page where we can download the application. We can find out information about the history and development of it. And also we can watch a couple of short videos about its use. These videos are very short, however, and the idea of this one is to expand on those. So let's have a look. I'm going to pull up my hot string edition dialog. I've already installed the application, of course. It's pretty straightforward install. Uh, Control Shift H does that. And I'm going to add a new hot string for the sake of this example. The hot string is going to be any key, T in this case. My trigger key is tab, and this is going to be my replacement text. Um, so if I'm, for example, in a uh, text editor, and I hit my T tab hot string key, texter replaces the text with whatever I've pre-defined it to, to do. Um, more examples of how I use this. One of my keys, one of my shortcuts is NEN, which gives me not entirely necessary. I make great use of this when I'm trying to write HTML code. For example, when I start a new document, I write NHTML. And when I press tab, Texter gives me the bare bones HTML structure that I've kind of predefined. Um, another one I use to great effect is the link. CSS shortcut, which gives me a link to an external style sheet, and the name can go in here. Um, stepping up through the sort of advanced features uh, of Texter, let's get rid of this for a second. If I pull up my Control Shift M dialog, I get to a management window, which is different from slightly different from the from the hot string at addition window, and it allows me to have a look at my shortcuts. Uh, let's have a look at the P shortcut. Here we have a paragraph tag, and an HTML paragraph tag, and a, uh, H and a close paragraph tag, but in the middle you can see an operator called percent sign pipe, and, and this tells Texter to place the cursor here when you're done finishing, when you're finished inserting this text. So let's have a look. I'm in my HTML document or wherever, uh, I hit P tab, and, and I get a um, a pre-closed tag into which I can put my content. Um, other examples of this to, that I use to create uh, pre-closed tags um, are for a div ID tag with the name going here, and also for a uh, div class tag with the name going here. Still on the subject of operators, if I lose this again and pull up my Control Shift M management window. If we have a look at the href shortcut, you can see that we have a, a basic um, insert link HTML line. But there are two operators in use here. One we've seen already, percent sign pipe, which means put the cursor here when you're done. The other, percent sign C, means place the most recently copied item to the clipboard here. Um, in this case, we would want that to be a, a URL of some description because this is where the URL goes in this line of code. So, let's uh, let's see if we can do something with that. Let's go to a search engine and let's search for a website. And here's the URL. Let's take this URL and copy it to the clipboard. Head back to our text editor, and I'm going to use the A H R E F tab shortcut. What that does is it gives me the URL in the appropriate spot, the one I've just copied to the clipboard, and it gives me the cursor in the right place so I can write the link text in which, in this case, I'm going to write something cliche like, check this out, exclamation mark. So, that's an example how we can use operators to start uh, opening up the doors of the power uh, uh, lying beneath, um, under, the, under the hood, if you like. Uh, of texture. It gets even better than that because if we pull up our 
Let's get rid of this again. If we pull up our Control Shift M text management window or texture management window, you can see that most of these uh, most of these tags or these hot strings, sorry, uh, are, are text hot strings. However, Texture has the func the feature or the function of um, accepting scripts and and the scripting language that you use to control this aspect of it is, is, is really straightforward and information can be found at the website I directed to you, you to earlier. I've got an example of a really basic script a really basic script going on here uh, in my AF hot string. AF stands for address form and oh, what I'm telling Texter to do in this script is to insert your name or my name or whatever information you want and then by inserting the word tab in these curly brackets I'm sending the tab key to the to the operating system which tabs me or tabs texture automatically into the next box so this as you can probably work out looks like an address and how might we use that well let's have a look if I open my web browser back up again and here I have a a standard uh, US address form I, I know that because its format is full name one, two lines of address, city, state, zip, country, and then phone number. If I go to my first line here and I use my ad address form shortcut, Texter tabs its way through all the box and completes the form in less than a second. So hopefully this has been a, a little snapshot of, of how, of, of, of some of the many ways that you can use Texter in whatever you, uh, you're doing with your, with your operating system. Recap, this has been the Texter Text Replacement Application Review. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you again next time.